You feel me? But let's talk about this Rolling Loud um situation. Rolling Loud is using Lil Uzi Vert for promo. Kind of fucked up. How you gonna use a nigga for promo? Like, how you gonna put a nigga on there? I never said I was doing Rolling Loud. Don't understand why my name is on here. That is crazy, chat. Is it really because, like Jay said, Rolling Loud doesn't pay their artists? Could that actually be? But what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Why do you guys think Rolling Loud would do something like this? How many other artists do you guys think Rolling Loud is using for promotion to push their event? From how trash the lineup is. Okay. Nicki Minaj, YG, and Tyga. Party Next Door, Ray Shrummerd, Lil Tecca, Sexy Red. Man, they are. Nah, they're not. Nah. The Sexy Red sex tape is 100% without a doubt. Was 100% without a doubt a ritual. Because after that shit... Drake album, um, fans chasing her down out of fucking venues and shit like that. I mean, they're treating her like Michael Jackson. She's fucking damn near headlining Rolling Loud. Absolutely no way, bro. It blew my mind seeing Sexy Red this fucking hot. It blew my mind. This Rolling Loud list, let's see. Sexy Red, Chino Pacas. Who? Who? Chino who? Who? BLP Kosher. Okay. Didi Osama. Okay, BLP Kosher might be a little too early to be this high up. That high up? A little crazy. That Nick. That Nick, though, like, are y'all kidding me? What ritual did he do that he's still here and relevant? How is this guy still at rolling? I, I have not heard a song, a video, nothing. Nah, what the fuck? Harrier Reed, Lay Banks. Lay Banks? Not the TikTok girl. Not the TikTok girl. Not the, not the, not the cringy. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Well, that TikTok came up fucking. Oh my God, man. Really rolling loud. Where's Glorilla? Y'all seeing Sexy Rad bigger than Ice Spice. Glorilla. Post Malone, really? You got Post Malone headlining after freaking Pierre Bourne and V's and Filthy, oh, they, they're going to get that man booed off the stage, my boy. Oh, my gosh. DC, the, oh, man. Anisha, okay, but she just got here. All right, Anisha, I mean, where's Caribou? Why is Caribou not performing? If Anisha's performing, why is Caribou not performing? You know, Rolling Loud is changing the narrative. Yeah, Stone Cold Jizzle, don't know who that is. K. Charles, don't know who that is. Gas, don't know who that is. Now, Post Malone on Saturday. Bones. Bones. Flo Millie, Pierre Bourne, V's. I think V's should be above Bones. On Osama Sun. I, I, I can see Osama Sun making it to uh, Rolling Aloud, personally. I can see that. Dirtball, Hoosh, and Nate Day. Who they missing from Rolling Aloud, chat? I think the little Uzi Vert thing, that's kind of crazy. Me, personally, the list, bad. I can see that Opium is not on there, so Fago should have been on that list. Maybe, yeah, that's crazy. So Fago's not on that list, and he's not on tour with Travis Scott, which is fucking crazy. Jay should have finally got his time to perform at Rolling Loud. That would have been cool. But, you know, that case might still be, I don't know what's going on with the case and all of them. You know, I don't know why Trippy Red's not performing at Rolling Loud. Uzi's not going to be there. Cardi already smutted it out. Yo, Yeet should have definitely been headlining at this one. If Yeet had a night at this show instead of Lil Uzi Vert, that would have been dope. Especially since he has an album coming out, and by then he's going to be extremely relevant. Might possibly hit the 100K mark and be one of them um, giants in the industry. So it's like Yeet should have been the headliner for this event. I really hope that they put Yeet instead of Lil Uzi Vert. That'd make a lot of sense. I'm, I'm hoping that Yeet is not this fucking guy right here. That'd be disrespectful as fuck. That would be disrespectful as fuck. I don't want to see Yeet at Rolling Loud if he's not here. He successfully surpassed... The not needing to do any of this. And yo, and if Yeet were to perform, I, uh, nah. Now, at an event like this, the opener has to be that right now, the audience, right now, they're on Yeet, man. We could really go down a long list. Yeah, and mm. Homicide Gang should have been performing, but at the end of the day, it might be clear that Opium's not performing because they're going to be coming off a tour. Makes a lot of sense. 
Hard Rock should definitely be on there, without a doubt. I don't know why Babytron's not on that list. If you got BLP Culture up there, you should have put Babytron that high. Damn, Roland, now who do y'all work for? Like, what's up? Yeah, I, I literally said that too, bro. If Yeet fucking headline. Ye has potential to headline this Roland Loud right here. 100% potential. Young Nudie, that would have been fire. Not gonna lie, the roster week this year. Fucking Roland Loud, I'm Roland Loud. They gotta pay me. Yeah, I gonna be my baby. Nah, yeah, that shit go crazy. But not for real, though. I will not. I, and I told myself, King Mel, go to the next Rolling Loud. Go to the next Rolling Loud. But uh, it's not worth taking a flight. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. So. Sleep. Summer Smash is 100% the wave in 2024. Oh, yeah. It's only ever in Chicago. I'm go I'll go to Summer Smash. Rolling Loud is a platform at the end of the day. And they're trying to put artists on and, 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 and do what they got to do. And I understand all that. You feel what I'm saying? But like, my dude, my dude, like, my dude, like, my dude, my dude, come on. Let's be for real. Let's be for real. You know what I mean? You're going to lose your platform eventually. They need to have a Homicide Gang and Summer's joint set. Mm -hmm. I think they got to know just to never put those people in the same room on the same anything ever, ever, ever again.